So I didn't have like a separate notebook or anything. I just wrote in the textbook. Uh, and every now and then I made the edits that made it seem like I was saying it, you know, rather than the lecture. Thank you so much for the interview today. Um, could you please just introduce a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so uh, my name is Zach Gollin. I'm 22 years old. I'm from New Jersey. Uh, I have a bachelor's in business administration from Hofstra University, which I just got this past May 2020. Um, so I'm one of the COVID graduates. Uh, I'm going to be working at KPMG in New York City. I'm going to be an associate in their advisory practice. Um, I just found out I passed my last portion of the CPA last week or about a week, two weeks ago. Um, super excited to, to be here interviewing with you and to help people out. Can you just share with me how did you study for the CPA exams overall? Or the main way that I studied uh, was using the, the Becker CPA program. Uh, KPMG uh, offered it to me, they provided it, and it was just such a comprehensive program. It was, it was easy to understand. It really accumulated all of the types of uh, questions and knowledge that a candidate would need to, to pass all the, the sections. Um, it really just had everything in there. And uh, I, I went hours every single day studying, you know, committed the time and just made sure that I was well prepared for the, for the exam. But I kind of just followed what Becker had, you know, made sure I took advantage of all their, their tools and techniques for studying and made sure I could, uh, I would pass. <laughs> How do you study for multiple choice questions? So the multiple choice questions, um, those ones were interesting uh, in that Becker had the advantage of, and I think other programs do it as well, the CPA exam or NASBA releases questions that they've used in the past on, on exams and says like basically these won't be used anymore. So I think most of the questions that Becker uses when they uh, test and, and give you questions to practice are from past CPA exams. So to in order to, to master the multiple choice questions and to not be nervous when you go in there, just doing as many of those as possible, just practice, practice, practice. That's the best way to, to really prepare yourself for them. Um, because when you practice questions that were like the ones that were on the exam, they may change, you know, the name or the number in there, but they're asked very similarly. So if you do enough questions that you're prepared for any, you know, if you're a practice test, then you will be well prepared for the actual test as well. So do you have any tips how you study for simulation questions? The simulation questions are a little bit of a, a bigger battle than the multiple choice questions. Uh, the multiple choice questions, usually the way they're set up, it'll kind of guide you through the information they want. Sometimes they'll put in one or two things that you don't need. Uh, but the simulation questions, especially if they give you documents and you know paragraphs of information, it's really hard to, to look at it and know exactly what you have to find. So again, with simulations, it's a lot of practice, but one of the things that no matter what uh, practice program, CPA program you use, it can't guarantee that it's gonna be exactly the same on the, on the actual exam. So just like with multiple choice questions, tons of practice, but not just doing simulations over and over again, watching the videos that explain how to do them and, and figuring out how can I extract the right information to answer the question. Um, so for me, it was a process. Uh, I kind of like made a list in my head of like, okay, what's it asking me? What information are they giving me? What's important? What may not be important? And then just going by question by question and seeing, trying to get the right answer, at least the best answer. Um, another thing with the simulations, is there's so many different questions that you could answer. It could be inserting a number, it could be a drop down menu, um, and you have to choose whatever answer you think is best. At the end of the day, it was, if I believe in this answer, good, move on. Go on to the next one, because there's a limited amount of time and you really have to get through all of those as quickly as possible. Um, obviously not too fast that you get it wrong, but quickly as possible, while making sure you have an answer that you believe in. How did you take study notes when you study for the CPA exam? Um, so with the Becker program, I think with a lot of a lot of programs, what they do is they, they give you like a textbook or, or some type of um, book to, to go through the information in an orderly fashion. And so the Becker program, they had lectures where they had a couple lecturers who would take you through the book and say, write down this note, this note, and this note. Um, and I, I followed that pretty strictly. Every now and then, I would pause it, you know, slow it down, try to re-understand it, 
and they might have told me to write one thing, I might have wrote another thing just because I needed to make sure it was something that I understood, you know? Um, some people have told me that they, they take separate notes to, to rewrite things um, in another way that they, they understand, which I kind of find to be very similar to what I do uh, because it's, it's the same type of notes, it's basically saying the same thing. Just make sure that you understand it. Um, so I didn't have like a separate notebook or anything, I just wrote in the textbook. Uh, and every now and then I made the edits that made it seem like I was saying it, you know, rather than the lecture. In what order did you study the material, like lectures, book or notes, quiz or note cards? Uh, so I did most of the lectures uh, pretty straight through. Uh, the Becker program, the, what, what they had set up was it would be like a lecture, and then it would be a skills practice. So the, the lecture would take you through an entire practice question that was kind of like a simulation. Uh, so they could re-explain some of the topics uh, and take you through something that might be challenging, might not be, but just explain to you one more time some of the more important aspects of the of the section of the module. Um, then I'd go through the multiple choice questions, and then I'd go through the simulations. And I basically just went through the whole thing. And this is something that people have to keep in mind. Um, you could go through those practice questions for a small section, a little chapter, whatever it may be, and get them half wrong. You get half them wrong, you get more than half them wrong. For me, that was the case multiple times. Move on. It's okay. You can get them wrong. It's perfectly fine. The material's still there. Go back and look at it another time. Um, so I would just go straight through it. I'd, I'd look back a couple times. If I had enough time, like if I wasn't on a, on a time crunch, uh, like I had to get this many sections done by, by this day, then I'd usually take the time out of my day, maybe on a weekend or sometime when I had a little bit of extra time and I would do one of the practice tests or, or one of the little quizzes that would be like, oh, you can choose from this section, this many multiple choice questions and this many simulations. Uh, so I would do those every now and then just to, I guess, keep myself on my toes. Like I said, practice, practice, practice. So more questions you answer, the more likely you're to do better on the test. So uh, one of the things I didn't do, which a lot of people do is, is flashcards. I, I talked to multiple of my professors back at school too. They all advise doing flashcards. For me, I, I'm just, yeah, I, I did some flashcards. I wrote out a little bit, but for me, it was the way that I study, just uh, the flashcards take up too much time for me. Um, and I didn't really feel like I was benefiting as much as I was spending time on them. Uh, so I didn't do flashcards, but for anybody watching this, if that's your way of studying, definitely go for it. It's extremely helpful, just not my style.